Hi everybody, um, welcome to my next mirror review. Um, like I mentioned in the last video, um, I'm planning on hitting up, I hit up Redbox every so often. This is what the actual things come in. Um, I'm going to cover um, a haunting. This is the actual disc itself. Um, there's um, four shows on here. Um, this is the best of seasons one and two. Um, one is Hell House. It's the first season the very first episode of the very first season and it talks about um that's hell house is the third episode on here um but it talks about um in a haunting that the parker family buys a 19th century farmhouse in connecticut but it becomes they become targeted by strange occurrences the family consults world renowned paranormal investigators including ed and lorraine warren to find out what's going on um Ed and Lorraine are best known for the Amityville Horror. Um, they're actually shown in a couple of different episodes. Two of them, two of the episodes on here, are, they're on here. Ed Warren passed away in 2006, and what it is is um, actually um, this TV show is from the Discovery Channel, and it's a haunting. It ran from 2005 to 2007. Um, you know, it's, you know, really, uh, it was an interesting TV show. I used it when I used to have cable, we'd watch this. Let's see, the next episode, the, well, the first episode that's on here is Where Demons Dwells from Season 2, and it's episode number 12, of course. It's the fourth one in the, in the, uh, second season, and it's, uh, this is what the synopsis is. It's uh, the year is 1980. Debbie Galassel and Arnie Johnson are about to start a new life together in Connecticut when Debbie's 12-year-old brother David helps them with the move. David has a terrifying encounter with an old man who has hooves for feet. Eventually, the old man transformed into transforms into a horned demon and possesses David and stalks him after stalking him. Um, David's possession is confirmed by a priest and a team of paranormal investigators, which includes Ed and Lorraine Warren. Um, and David gets ex exercised to save his soul. Um, but, you know, it's an interesting um, episode. Um, the second episode on here is Gateway to Hell. Um, Gateway to Hell is about something that's local here to me. Um, it's uh, about Bobby Mackey's Music World. Um, if you really want to hear me talk about at length about Bobby Mackey's, um, I recommend running over to my main channel. Um, I've got a whole series called uh, Halloween Stories. Um, it's in there. Uh, my main page, in case you're wanting to go see it, is Ghosties in Kentucky. It's G-H-O-S-T-I-E-S. I N and then the abbreviation for Kentucky, which is K Y. Um, if you look in there, there should be a series called Halloween stuff. Um, you know, it'll I'll go into detail about Bobby Mackey's and everything, which is the Gateway to Hell. It's based on that title. Gateway to Hell is actually based on the name of a book by a local guy, and he's mentioned in the in the video. And he, you know writes about it and everything. It's just like a, the, this episode is like a thumbnail sketch of that. Um, there's been some other developments on there. Um, one that I will mention is Janet Mackey, Bobby Mackey's wife, has, is now deceased, but um, she's in here. Um, that episode's basically about like what happens to them when they first buy the place in 1977-ish. Um, the fourth and final episode is Echoes from the Grave. This is that's episode three, which Gateway to Hell, by the way, is episode seven in, in season one. Um, Echoes from the Grave is um, from season one. It's episode three from season one. It's saying convinced that buying a historic home is a dream come true. Ryan and Nancy soon learn they're being threatened by unseen forces in a haunting that becomes increasingly intense and suggests that their house is actually a way station between life and death. I mean, it's okay, but these four are the ones that they keep playing over and over and over and over. And like I said, you know, they um, no longer, Discovery Channel no longer has a haunting on here. And like I mentioned, this is from, of course, Redbox. Um, the TV show is actually pretty interesting, um, but I would recommend getting the whole season. But uh, hang on. Or seasons, I should say. I w hang on, I've got some more movies I want to review, review with you, okay? Hang on.